Washington, skyrocketing gas prices, surging food costs, markets in free fall. The international financial crisis will be front and center as President Joe Biden meets with leaders of some of the world's most advanced economies this weekend in the Bavarian Alps. Rich nations that make up the Group of Seven, or G7, will band together in an attempt to stabilize the global economy while maintaining and potentially increasing punitive actions on Russia over its war in Ukraine. Clean energy initiatives that Biden and other world leaders had hoped would be the focus of the summits will take a back seat to discussions about support for Ukraine, fears of a global recession and ways countries can work together to fight inflation. There are no quick solutions to these challenge. Working on the right plan and getting it implemented, whether we're talking about energy security, food security, reconstruction needs, financing for those needs, and potentially reparations, there's planning that needs to take place now in a cohesive, expedited way. World leaders are grappling W. Leaders have committed to discussing those issues along with infrastructure development, democratic resilience and climate security during their talks in Europe. Inflation has soared since countries that make up the G7, which are the U.S., U.K., Germany, France, Italy, Canada and Japan, began to impose stiff economic sanctions on Russia, which was once a part of the cohort. Food, housing and gasoline costs all rose in the U.S. in May, and year-over-year -year inflation increased 8.6% in the latest Consumer Price Report. The spike in costs was a 40-year high. Costs are also higher in other G7 nations. For instance, in the UK, inflation was 9.1% higher in May than a year prior. France saw a 5.8% year-over-year increase in inflation. Next year, the U.S. could enter into a recession, prominent economists are warning. Organizations such as the International Monetary Fund are predicting significant slowdowns in economic growth and have revised down their global growth forecasts. Everybody is lowering their projections for what the world economy is going to do, said Mark Weisbert, co-director Center for Economic. And there are going to be recessions. Central banks around the world have responded to heightened inflation by raising interest rates. The Federal Reserve last week announced the three-quarters of a point increase in short-term interest rates, the biggest since 1994. Policy experts say there is little else G7 leaders can do to bring down costs in the near term.